Good morning my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I bring greetings in the name of Jesus. Hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good rest last night and uh, you're expecting God's word this morning. As we are looking into the word of God, God is strengthening our spiritual lives with his promise. The Bible is full of God's promises. And whenever we focus on the promises of God, we will receive spiritual power and strength to move on and to face any kind of challenge that we are facing in our daily lives. I welcome you to God's promise for today. Let us look into the scripture, the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 19. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. What a wonderful promise. You shall eat the good of the land. You know why? Because our God is good. He does good things in the lives of his people. The book of Isaiah is an incredible prophetic book in the Bible. We call it as a miniature Bible because there are so many reasons behind that. But one thing I can say, the Bible begins with the process of creation in the book of Genesis and ends with consummation. If you read the book of Isaiah chapter 1, the Lord was speaking to heavens and earth. And you see the concept of consummation in the last chapter of the book of Isaiah. When we read the first chapter of the book of Isaiah, we see the heart of God and the purpose and plan of God. We can divide this chapter into two major sections. The first part talks about what are the consequences we face when we disobey to the voice of God. and the second part talks about what are the benefits and the blessings that we can get when we obey to the voice of almighty god the bible makes it so clear we can understand the contrast between obedience and disobedience when we carefully observe the chapter the people of god they were not obeying to god but still they were observing festivals and days and all kinds of uh, traditions in their lives That's the reason God was not hearing their prayers. God was not answering any of their prayers. But here the Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Obedience brings God's blessings in our lives. Do you know that? God is willing to bless you. And he is willing to comfort you. He is willing to lift you up from the terrible situation that you are facing today. But what you have to do, you have to obey to his voice. One thing is very clear our God is still speaking to us he is still communicating his message to the world if you can hear his voice if you can obey to his voice if you can heed his voice you shall eat the good of the land you shall experience God's goodness in your life are you willing to obey to the voice of God during the earthly ministry of Jesus Christ he met Simon Peter one day at sea of Galilee there were multitudes of people following Jesus to hear his word after his message God turned towards Simon Peter and told him launch into the deep and let down your net for a catch and Simon Peter replied master we toil all the night and we got nothing nevertheless at your word i will cast my net and we know the result God blessed him tremendously beyond his expectation. My dear friend, if you can obey to the voice of God today, whatever the Lord is speaking to you, if you are willing and obey, you will see the double portion of God's blessing. An anointing of the Lord will be upon you, and God will use you for his glory, and he shall bless your family. He shall bless the fruit of your labor. The Bible says our God is the one who does things beyond our expectation. Above we ask and above we imagine God is able to do something great in our lives. Let us claim this promise today and focus on him. It's my prayer and it's my wish that you should eat the good of the land by obeying to the voice of Holy Spirit God. Let's close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this promise today. We thank you for letting us know the importance of obedience one more time so that we may enjoy the fruit of the land.
Father, I pray for all the people watching this program from different parts of this world. We are forever grateful to you, Lord, for the gift of salvation that you have given us and for the peace and comfort that you are putting in our hearts, O oh God. The joy, abundant joy that you placed in our hearts. I pray for those who are suffering from sickness and illness, O oh God. Heal them and touch them, O oh God, and prepare them for greater blessing and greater move in their lives. Whoever is looking unto you, Lord, for a breakthrough and for a miracle, as you are the miracle working God, do something great in their lives. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, dear friends. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this message. We hope the Spirit of God has touched you and inspired you. God is using Man of God, Dr. John Wesley and Mrs. Blessy Wesley to bring forth the message of hope, love and salvation to the world. They are traveling extensively for the expansion of God's kingdom across the globe. International Christian League has a vision to take the gospel to the nations. We ask you to share this message with your friends and relatives. Subscribe to this channel for more spiritual videos. If the Lord leads you to support this ministry, we ask you to sow a seed which helps to make a difference in somebody's life. Please find a ministry account details in the description box or simply scan this QR code to make a donation. For more details, visit our website www.johnwesley.com. May the Lord bless you all.